In this video, we will provide an overview of a standard VET consultation process, which bears similarities to medical consultations for humans. The framework we will utilize is the widely recognized Calgary-Cambridge model, although various other models are also commonly employed. The model we are about to outline primarily emphasizes the initial consultation. It is important to note that subsequent visits to the vet allow for a better understanding of your situation. However, during the first encounter, the veterinarian aims to gather information about you, your pet, and the purpose of your visit. Here is the Calgary-Cambridge consultation model. For veterinarians for checkup and consultation of their patient animal and its owner. The model falls into six distinct stages. The first stage is the preparation stage. And that is very much finding out what is known about the client and the patient. And that can be found by either looking up the records as already held by the practice, or it can be asking the receptionist what information was given when they arrived. The second stage is initiating the consultation. At the onset, there is a brief exchange of pleasantries, acknowledging both the client and their furry companion. Then the focus shifts towards gathering crucial details, commonly referred to as history-taking. This important phase revolves around finding out the reasons behind the client's visit and their concerns for the patient. Following this, the fourth stage is conducting a detailed physical examination. We're not really going to explore this in this section, but this is a general examination of the health of the animal and also looking at specific details around and in the symptoms that the client brought up. The subsequent stage, labeled as the fifth stage, is known as explanation and planning. During this phase, the veterinarian provides a detailed overview of the findings from the clinical examination and incorporates relevant details obtained during the history-taking process. The veterinarian also discusses the subsequent steps, which may involve additional tests or the prescription of medication. Moving on to the second stage, known as the closing, it include a concise summary of the events that transpired during the consultation and an outline of future actions. The purpose is to ensure clarity regarding the proceedings. Now we will present an example of a typical veterinary consultation, which serves as a valuable component of veterinarian training. I hope, dear vet students, now you will feel confidence while consultation. Best of luck for your bright future.